the Joe Rogan experience. Have, did you see the guy from Empire's um, speech, like interview? Yes, yes, wow. yes. yes. Yeah, like, that seems Terrence. almost like he's not pretending. Like he's if he's pretending, oh. he's doing a better job acting than Joaquin Phoenix. What is this? Terrence? Terrence Howard. Yeah, he Howard. saw the yeah. Flower of Life. Or well, something. Terrence Howard, uh, the guy who interviewed me for Rolling Stone, told me that Terrence Howard is like a legitimate genius. Like he's like you talk to the guy. The guy is absolutely brilliant. Maybe he figured it all out. I think he got high as fuck on DMT. That's what it sounds like. He's talking he about figured it all out. Yeah, it does sound yeah. like that, right? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, it all makes sense. Like the, but the inability to explain it, just kind of like it's all connected. But he was ex not explaining it very well, but very articulately. Like he was using, it wasn't like nonsense talk. Right. He was like, like, oh, this is like shockingly coherent for a ridiculous thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have Shane on to talk about what happened to him? Shane, which one? Uh, Shane Moss. No, he did. I think. Oh yeah, no, I've had mushrooms. him on. I had him on back. You, which, 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 what happened to him though? He did, I think he did mushrooms every day for a month, or DMT every day for a month, and he also covered himself in, in. I'm getting the terms wrong, but maybe Syrian roux, so the shit couldn't come out of his system. What? And he went a little bit nutty. <laughs> How long ago was this? Mm, maybe a year and a half ago. Oh, okay, so I had him on ago. before that. I yeah. had one before that. So we went to see Roger Waters. He got tickets for me in Providence. We went down there and he was like talking like he was like, I figured out these math equations. And he was like, the whole time he was like, dude, I know. I'm get it. I'm a science guy. I get this seems ridiculous. I understand why you wouldn't believe me, but I can like figure shit out to the point where mathematicians are like, hmm, I never thought of it that way. He's like, I don't understand how it's possible, but I get why you wouldn't believe that. Um, yeah. He, he was like, he was, you know, when you're coming out of a mushroom trip, yeah. For like 30, 40 minutes, you're like not quite coherent because you got a foot in there and a foot out here. Yeah. He was like that for hours and I guess for like months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was just in a constant state of coming out of a mushroom trip. I did DMT three times in a day. Wow. The, the third time, it was a really strong one. And um, it, it fucked me up for a, a while. I don't remember how long afterwards, but this was during the Fear Factor days. But I remember... Reality, the way I described it, the reality was very slippery. Yeah. Very slippery. Like, um, I kept thinking that cars were going to fly over the incoming lane oh. and crash into my car and kill me. Oh, real slippery. Yeah. I kept thinking, like, be really careful. But then I realized that what that is is, like, my ego trying to protect me by making me aware of imminent threats and trying to reestablish its position as uh, in the, the chain of uh, command. Because uh, like one of the things about really extreme psychedelic experiences that they dissolve the ego to the point where you realize like you don't really matter like you're a part of some crazy system and the only reason why you think you really matter is because your biology wants to stay alive because there's these inherent existential threats to your existence that have always existed throughout time and you know ultimately though it doesn't matter because you're just going to live and die and probably live again and yeah. die again and this is like this you're never ending cycle. Spec. Yeah, and you're part of some. One of those guys that thing. anytime you're like fighting it, like you're just like ah, mm -hmm. it, it just means you haven't taken it enough. I think hmm. that was like Terrence McKenna or one of those guys was like, you just have to take more and then you can't fight it, right, and you're, right, you're right. just gone. You know. Mm. Um, yeah, but I was fucked up for a while. Really, but I, but I was functional. I was, but I was real nervous and weirded out by things. How long? How long? Weeks, maybe months. Why'd you do it three times in a day? Were you trying to do that on purpose, or were you just I did like, bored? It, the first time was light. I went in, but I didn't go in too deep. Yeah. But I, I saw the visuals, and I lay there, and I, saw, I was like, I got to the door, and I could see through the windows of the house, but I didn't go inside. The second time, it just like opened up a fucking vortex and sucked me through to the center of the universe. And then uh, it was really, really, really intense, and then I did it again after that. It's because I wow. loved it, because it was so awesome. I wanted to do it one more time. I got to do it more. Mm. I guess they not make for a month. Vape pens. Yeah. We should, that's what we should do on November 1st. Vape pens. Yeah, we should do DMT. In, in the morning. Here. Yeah, in here. You're going to be in New York. Oh, yeah. Well, as soon as we get back. Come to my apartment. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>